Well, I, I just can't believe it. I was just thinking the other day, I wish I could find myself a Zenith Chroma Color 2 tabletop to go with the console. And I wasn't even looking for this. I was out quoting a job and the customer happened to be an old television technician from back in the day. Tons of Zenith parts. And I unfortunately didn't have a tripler for my... Uh, my tabletop Zenith, the tripler, I believe, went out. So I'm trying to get my hands on one of those. I wonder if that's got the same one in it. Maybe I can experiment. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I haven't plugged them in. I haven't done nothing. I just brought them in out of the car. So anyway, he had his tons of these things. So I made a deal with him for these television sets. Uh, this ain't all of them. This is the only ones I brought home today. There's also a early CTC nine rca i believe it's a ctc nine it's hard it was hard to tell it was in a barn up in the attic of a barn but yeah a ctc nine um rca early color television and a couple of early and late 50s zenith black and white sets i made a deal with um as well so here we are though um i got the rca xl 100 it looks newer, like maybe it's an 80s set. I really don't know anything about the XL100. I do know that TV weighs a whole heck of a lot less than this Zenith. This thing is a beast. It's heavy. It's also, I don't know. I, I love the looks of this thing. But yeah, so uh, I'm thinking about just plugging it in and powering them up, see what happens. Uh, what information do we have here? We got a date. Oh, it is 80s. 19. Oh, there we go. 1984. Okay. So that answers that question, huh? This is a Chroma Color 2, so I'm assuming this is going to be close to the same year as my console television we're currently working on. See if there's a date anywhere on here. Certified video. Well, this looks familiar. I'm gonna see if I can find a date. Okay, I couldn't find a date on the on the outside of this thing, anyways. I'll have to, I can't even find it. The this tag here is just faded. So not even, uh, hopefully I can get a chassis number or something on the inside, see if I can find a better, better way to see if I can find a date on this. Huh. Somebody's labeled them. Didn't they, wasn't there a year they switched over to this new symbol? I, I done forgot. I say we plug it in and see if these puppies work. But well, here's the console Zenith that we've been working on. As you're gonna find out coming up in the future episodes, we got a tripler, I believe, that went out on me. But anyway, I got the TV transmitter going, so we should be able to get something on those tabletops. Let's go have a look. Looks like it's been sitting a long time in the garage though, huh? On your own time, it's okay, cheaper. Channel 12 makes it. But I don't know what I did. I turned on the power switch, but didn't have it plugged in. So. so if you want to be able to get something where you can do it at home and do it. So we know it works. Let's try that again. Man, that instantly, that instant picture tube just instantly turns on. I mean, it takes a, a, a few for the console television. And just like my console, 0.9 amps. So, interesting. Oh. Come on. Yeah, extra green again. 
I need to clean the tuner. All right, well, anyway. Huh, I can't wait to work on this. We'll have a new series for this TV. I know the first thing I need to do is clean the cabinet. Give this thing a little bit of, give this thing a little bit of love, right? All right, so what about the RCA then from 84? How's this thing? Just on and off knob. Let's see what this thing does. Get the clip lead on her. Okay, we're ready with the RCA. Degaussing, high voltage, less power, 0.6 amps. No picture yet. No sound either. Oh, there's a picture finally, sorta. Boy, is that dark. That's a dark picture. Ooh, brightness is cranked all the way too. Ooh, man. I bet this thing is like... And no audio, huh? Getting slightly better reception. Color is a bit up there. Huh, no audio though. Uh huh. Still 0.65, but she works. Well, I know which one I'm more excited about. What about you guys? Got the first wipe down, man. Ain't that just filthy? All right, we'll come back to this. We'll get it cleaned up. And I'm thinking before I close out this video, I'm going to go ahead and pop the cover off. Let's see what this thing looks like underneath the hood. Yeah, baby, yeah. We'll go ahead and hit the tuner with some cleaner pot controls. And let's see if we can't just, you know, get a little bit better picture and reception on this thing. I'd sure love to see that. Well, she sure cleaned up nicely. Didn't quite put as much in effort into the RCA I, I I'm really digging the Zenith myself even threw a little bit of furniture polish on there um all right let's get the back off and see what we got under the hood wow this thing looks just like the bigger console I have got the AGC luminance the chroma board I've been messing with. I think it's the earlier chroma board. Yeah, 9 86, no 1 or 2 or A or B. Oh, wow, look at the uh, the huge heat sinks on these transistor outputs. Wow. Oh, they're socketed. Yeah, some of us talk about these things. Look at that. These the chips I replaced are socketed on this one. Interesting. Boy, this thing's beautiful. There's the vertical board, horizontal. There's the tripler. Well, that tripler looks a lot smaller than mine, but that would make sense if uh, this is, um, what do you call it? Smaller tube, right? What's that thing say? Okay. Doesn't have the part number I was expecting, really. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah, you know, let's... Uh, why not see if we can do the grayscale setup on it real quick. Clean the tuner, clean all the pots, and get the grayscale set up. And see how well that picture looks. Don't look like the original Zenith. Uh, what do I, is this part of my Sam's that I already have? What do we got here? It doesn't have a date. 
Oh, man. Ooh. That's kind of wore off. But 19 EC35 and EC45. There's something I noticed here that I don't see that four lead safety cap. I don't see a white one either. I do see an orange one down in here. I don't know if that's a four lead though. So I wonder if this needs uh, that safety modification done. Um, man, that resistor that was getting hot on my, this thing has crispified this board. More of uh, extending that or something out a little bit, so not getting not so hot. But these look like all the earlier versions of the boards that are kind of in mine from what I've been looking and seeing. And this is a different set of SAMs than the one I got, so I got to get the SAMs for this. But I, I, what are you guys thinking? Early 70s? 72? 73 maybe? I'm not sure. Very cool though. I'm thinking about maybe uh, swinging the chassis down for a quick view and let's test the CRT. Let's get the Syncore on it and see how it compares to the console television. But let's have a swing down here before we do that. There we go. Hey, I did a... Uh, I don't know where it went. There it is. Found a zip tie in here. Ooh, crusty sounding. Nope. Well, don't know how long I had the camera messed up, but here we go. He's creakling. Oh, very awesome. Very awesome. Oh, white caps maybe? That, I don't remember seeing the white caps on mine. Ooh, look at that too. Is that just me or does that look like, um, see if I can get a better view here. Kind of like the end is coming out of that thing. Sure it looks like it. Huh. I'm gonna have to look into uh look into that. I bet um that's about the same down there. Man, this is almost identical. I bet this needs the the triplers cute being smaller and all. This is a little easier to get to to work on stuff. Color delay line. Um, does that got that oil filled capacitor in it? Yeah, yeah, sure does. But I'm thinking uh, we might have an issue here that this thing hasn't had the modification done. I'd have to, I don't know, research that, huh? I don't want that blowing up. So I'm not going to run this a whole, a whole lot, really. Until I find, uh, until I do some research and see what I could come up with that. I don't want to blow up a nice set. Okay, I got all the contacts cleaned up, pots, tuner. Everything's going to need to be adjusted. It's all out of whack now. But I just realized that the CRT is missing its label. So I don't know what CRT number is. And I don't got the SAMs. All right, well, I think I'm ready to power it up and everything is going to be out of whack because of the cleaning the pot control. So I don't know. I hope this, uh, I hope this set does a lot better at, uh, not giving me a bunch of grief and a bunch of things going wrong with it, especially if that safety cap's not in there. That's got me real concerned, but well, let's see what happens. Well, it's not real bad. Well, we got that working now. Is that vertical? Yeah. Boy, that uh, picture's rough, ain't it? Does this thing even have color? Or is this thing just schwacked? I'm not even sure. It's almost like I didn't get enough cleaner up in there, did it? Whew. 
man. Well, the width is, uh, I was worried about that. Okay, that's fine. I hear crisply crackly over there. Um, let's set up that, uh, let's hit that service switch. There it is. Ooh, let's turn that down. Oh, let's turn the screens down. Holy moly. That was... That was wild, wasn't it? All right. Oh, the convergence must be way out because that, uh... That's only the red pot there, right? And I'm getting all kinds of... Maybe that's why the picture's terrible. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let me put this down while I'm doing this. All right. Well, I got this going on. All the all the screen controls turned down, and occasionally this blue line pops up. They see it's gone. And that's the blue line when I turn it up. It's almost like a different kind of blue. I don't know what the deal with that is. Okay, let me see if I can get this now. Man, that red's like way out of whack. And I don't know why the other colors are not. They're like a, an actual line. All right, well, there's going to be need some troubleshooting done. Because that line that keeps popping in there acting all weird. So it's just not going to be an easy getter going it looks like. But yeah that line that keeps popping in and out. See now it's changed the color. So something else is going on in here. Not sure what it is. But we'll get her figured out right. Look at it. See it's popping in and out there. Let's go ahead and shut her down for now. I love how quick that picture comes up. So I guess get the Sam's order for this. Find out what picture tubes in here. Get that tested because I'm kind of curious to see how that stacks up to the console because it takes a while for that console picture to come up. And who knows how long this sat before we plugged it in when we first brought it inside. I mean, that was an instant picture, it seemed like. Like, how was that even possible? I mean, is there like an instant on feature like when I plugged it in and maybe it's sitting in a few minutes while I was getting the video ready? I don't know. But I hope it doesn't have an instant on cooker. Very cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now we just got to get her to look awesome, right? And then the RCA. We'll see if we can hook that thing up to the sink or maybe hit it with the restore function just to see what it does. See if we can get a little life left out of that bad boy. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of uh, the end of this one. See you guys back on the console television with the next episode.